Welcome back to Pecha Bun, my new favorite province in all of Thailand. Today we're going for a drive and you're invited. Behind me is the 2331. This is a famous road. Apparently it's got lots of twists and turns, incredible views, and at the very top of the mountain, at the end of the road, I can see it from here is a little pointy thing, but that little pointy thing is very high up and very big, but it looks tiny from here. And we're gonna try, me and Dreamy are gonna try and get up there. It's a bit of a mission, it's a bit of a hazard. It might not happen. Dreamy has only got 125 cc and she's 27 years old and she's not exactly in her prime anymore. So let's just try, have a day out with me. We're gonna try and get to that pointy thing. We're gonna have some fun, whether we make it or not. And uh, yeah, get your helmet on and let's go. Before we go up, I need to refuel or fuel up myself. Luckily, 7-Elevens here, not only are they brown and fancy looking, but they also sell dark chocolate milk and pork and sticky rice. So, winner, winner. We'll smash this and then we'll get on the road. It smells, oh my God, it smells amazing. And we're off. I really hope Jimmy makes it up here, guys. <laughs> It took me about an hour to drive here from Khao Co. If you're new to the channel, I'm traveling to every single province in Thailand on my little Honda Dream. And we've done about half of them so far. We've done all of the south. After this province, we would have done all of the north and we're soon to go into Isan. And I just hope she gets to the top of this mountain. It does look very high up. It does look very imposing and uh, sort my mirrors out and we'll get on the road. I'm not listening to GPS. I don't really have anything mapped out. We're just gonna drive it, enjoy it, see what we find. And let's hope the sun comes out because uh, when I arrived here, the mountain looked like it was in the clouds. And let's just get up there and see what happens. It's gonna take a while. <laughs> Tell you what's funny <laughs> they have sprinklers on some of these turns that are watering the corn and the flowers and things and so they're creating hazards they're making the road slippy right on the you know most dangerous turns just stop to wave at the drone hello get up here come on and <laughs> i just think that's funny you know like these tight difficult turns that's where we'll make it extra slippy Good job, Thailand. I love you. Don't ever change. Oh, come on, Dreamy! show you what I'm talking about when it comes to the, the sheer height we've come already. I mean, it's just like, I mean, GoPros don't do height um, and scale very well because of the wide angle, but you can get the feeling, right? It's, whoo, 
hi and we've still got to go all the way up there it's hard not to get excited and just keep stopping i should try and just you know relax and enjoy the ride a little bit more growing wild look at this we've got this beautiful dark purple long grass with these yellow and purple things <laughs> I don't know what they're called and then they've got these lovely pink and purple purple bush these are absolutely gorgeous little oh look at those beautifully red flowers see these guys these are beautiful look at these they're so, wow, they're very thick and sturdy. I feel like a microphone. Holy moly. There's so much substance to these. I love doing this and then slowing it down in post. Oh my God, it's so cinematic. Oh. Sorry, Cal. So bye, Mai. How how much is this? Uh, pan. Pan. Pan samurai. Pan samurai. One thousand three hundred. Okay, I'm learning Thai, guys. Do you remember when I got it mixed up last time? Can I have a look? Thank you. Well, that's quite nice. It feels like a loft, you know, with the way the roof coming down and a little fan. You definitely wouldn't need aircon. It's cold up here, guys. Okay, cop and cap. Oh, she's lovely. 1,300 baht and a billion dollar view. what we're looking at okay so that's the valley between Khao Ko and this area and you kind of have to kind of drive through the mountains and then you come out the other side you go into the flatlands and then you come past this ridge mountain and then you come up this way which is where we've come it takes about an hour and a half to get from over there and if I zoom in, and then if I punch in in my editing software, you can see the five-headed Buddha statue from here. And when I was there, I remember looking in this direction and seeing these, seeing these and thinking, there's no chance. That's so high up. But alas, this is all Petra Boon. And I mean, we're on top of the world here. I mean, just look at this mountain here and the way the sun's coming through the clouds. Holy moly. Mother of God, Pechabun province, does it get better than this? Dreamy, does it get better than this? I don't think it does. Can you see the 
taste it. It tastes like rain. <laughs> tastes like heaven. <laughs> We're literally in the heavens, aren't we? Okay. Okay. Oh god, it's all in Thai. Okay. Let's try my best here. Okay. It's on some weird setting, I, I can't read Thai. Okay, really good. You think that's fine? Yeah. Okay, okay. All right. yeah, that was cool. Wow, those guys smell like they've been rolling in mud for a week. <laughs> these houses they have their own little cows outside oh Jesus <laughs> dreamy chill out anyway they all have their big cows and chickens and stuff oh and he's got a lovely dinner spring onions and uh, lemongrass and stuff like that oh, it smells amazing I want to have some <laughs> Is it yummy? Is it yummy? I don't know if he's going to kill me or what, so I'm just going to back off. I had bought my beanie. I bought this a couple of weeks ago in Chiang Mai because I know it's going to get cold, especially in December here in the mountains. And uh, I don't think this is the spiky thing, but there's this incredible art installation, ginormous. Wow, I've never seen this before. A man and a woman, kind of normal, but their bodies morph into snake, giant serpents, and then they go into a lake. Wow, that's really cool. I've never seen that before. And then they've got some people praying on lotus flowers. Doesn't look like it's finished, but it's, it's beautiful. Okay, so just before we finish the video, the best part of the video will happen right now because I'll tell you what happened. I was like, I'll fly the drone, we'll see it, we'll see what it's like. Because, you know, when it's all grey and overcast, I didn't think it would be that interesting. And there's no actual viewpoint up here, or they haven't built one yet anyway. Maybe you can go inside and there'll be something at the top. How cool would that be? But anyway, I thought, let me fly the drone, let me just try. This is why you have a drone. This is why you should buy a drone. Not just because of YouTube videos or whatever, but just to give yourself a perspective of where you are and the view around. And I'll finish with the drone shot. Now, it's not that long because the, the gimbal on my new drone is playing up. I think I broke a broken one. Uh, I think I bought a broken one, I should say, because the, the gimbal was going crazy. And so I just flew it back to myself because I don't want to risk losing all the footage from today including all the windy roads and all the great stuff. But it showed me what it looks like and how high we are and what the view is down there and oh my god, this place, this spiky thing. This thing, when this is finished, um, I'll leave the Google Map link for it now. It's not finished yet, but you can come. And can you imagine what this is going to be like when it's finished? So me and Dreamy, we made it. Mission accomplished. See you in the next video. Maybe from Pechaboon, maybe from Loy in Isan. I haven't decided yet. Um, I am loving it here, uh, so we'll see how I'm feeling in a couple of days. Thanks. <laughs>